Beverly Hills Cops? Come on, dude. Yeah. What about Dr. Doolittle? Come on, that's a classic. I don't think I've seen that. You all got stuff to do after this. Kicking off the mustache tier list, we got ourselves a guest today. This is Colton. He's usually behind the camera. If you watched our live stream, you saw he spun that camera around and showed you that magnificent mustache. Ryan wouldn't commit to a mustache, so he can't be in this tier list because that's the number one requirement. We're going to kick it off, though, with Nick Offerman, also known as Ron Swanson. Robert, what do you got? I mean, Ron has this great thick mustache. It's so iconic that there's even one episode where he shaves it off for Tammy and it just, it, he looks awful. So this has to be an A. He has to have this on his face. Yeah, this is just a type of mustache that makes me want to take up woodworking as a hobby. S tier. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what Robert's even saying. A tier? Come on, this is a classic Chevron. I got to go S tier all day. I think we're overruling him. We're going to S tier. All right, next up, we've got Morgan Whalen. Morgan Whalen. Oh, it's Wallen. You say tomato, I say potato. Okay, well. This is a country music star. Colton's pretty familiar with him. What do you think? Yeah, Morgan, I thought you should know that your mustache is just okay, C tier. Yeah, I mean, to me, it just feels a little forced. I don't know. I feel like he could go with different styles and look fine. It's just, it's C tier. It's just okay. Yeah, I got to say, I mean, the look that he had with the mullet plus the mustache combo, I mean, you got to kind of give the guy a bump there. But unfortunately, I just can't now. I'm going C. It's going to be C all around. Now, Travis Kelsey is cool to me because of what he does on the football field, not because of T-Swift. But I will say that mustache feels like it just makes him an even better player. This is an A. He had a swift run with his mustache, but it's still B tier. Oh my gosh, we got a new pun person in here. This is going to be aggressive. Yeah, I got to say, this dude is a total Swifty. I don't know if we downgrade him because of that, but I guess we're just looking at mustaches. So I'm going to say trailer. You probably have a B tier. I know Robert gave A. It's going to be B overall. Post Malone's a guy that changes his style quite a bit, but I'd say you look better now. A beard suits you better. I'm going C tier on the mustache. Yeah, it's just a bit too sloppy for me. It just feels like, yeah, there's got to be a better look for him. I'm with Colton here. It's a C tier. Wow, that's pretty rough on this guy. It's been said that his mustache looks like two dogs fighting. I think you should probably give a guy a bump there for that, but apparently we're not going to. So looks like the average for this one's going to be a C. I gave it a B because I think two dogs fighting is pretty, re pretty legit. Yeah, that's yeah legit. but anyways, yeah, we're going C tier. So when you think a mustache... Tom Selleck has to pop in your head pretty fast. This has to be our first S tier. He's an 80s heartthrob for a reason. He has one of the best mustaches on the list and probably one of the best of all time, S tier. This is the godfather of the stash. Come on, it's a classic lampshade. If you look at my mustache, I know it's a bit of a chevron, but I am aspiring to be Tom Selleck. This is S tier all the way. I even gave it god tier, but the, you guys didn't give me a god tier spot, so I'll just put it S. So the question we have to ask, though, since Ryan's not here, what mustache would he look best in? And Taylor, our graphics girl, actually hooked us up with a few pictures with three different styles. Robert, what do you think? I mean, he's got that nice pyramid, would we call that, in that one style. I mean, Ryan already can be a little intimidating sometimes. The mustache might put him over the edge, so I don't know if it's good for him. Yeah, he's pretty serious. You know, could we handle him in a handlebar? Because I think that's probably the most serious look that you could come up with. I don't know, Colton, what do you think? I've never felt as serious as when I sat in Ryan's chair. A serious guy like Ryan needs a serious mustache like the handlebar. Yep, handlebar. So the guys gave me a hard time because I don't know who Indigo Montana is. Uh, his mustache isn't that great. I'm going <laughs> D tier. <laughs> okay, Inigo Montoya, the best character in The Princess Bride. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Now, his mustache isn't amazing, but it does kind of complete his whole, like, Spaniard look. So, I'll still give it a C. Not a huge fan of this. It's sort of like a pencil by default, but just because he can't grow it. And so, I think it's D overall. I'm going D. All right, Chris Evans. Now, he doesn't rock the mustache look all the time, but he definitely should A for Captain America. I think you're underrating Chris Evans. He's actually one of my favorites on the list and probably the closest to a walrus. All right, Chris Evans, come on. This guy's Captain America. That should be S tier automatically. Unfortunately, no mustache in that movie. It's in the gray man, but still clean. It's well done. I got to say A tier here. It's going to be A overall. Hulk Hogan. This is our only horseshoe on the list and arguably the only person that can wear a horseshoe long term. S tier all the way. Yeah, he just wouldn't be who he is. I mean, his persona is that horseshoe mustache S tier. The man, the myth, the legend, this man clearly is using some form of applicator on his mustache and hair because the rest of his hair is dark on his face. You got to give him S-tier for the commitment. I mean, it's a lifetime investment, S-tier all around. 
So we're falling into a situation with James Franco where he definitely would look better without the mustache. So this is a D tier. Judging by his mustache and not his past, I'm going C tier. This man has a naturally parted pencil, which could be incredible. But honestly, with a few less hairs, this dude's F tier all day. I'm going D. It's D all around. I'm not too familiar with Idris Elba, but I'm still giving him a B tier. Idris really runs the full gamut of full beard, mustache, but I think the mustache is actually his best look, A tier. Yeah, I got to say, this dude really pulls off that not so long of a mustache, but still really thick, and I think it pops off his face. Honestly, if this guy was willing to commit to a Chevron, it would be epic proportion levels. So I'm going A tier on this one. Robert, you had one last point? There was talk of him being the next James Bond. He could be James Bond with a mustache. I think that's a solid take, and this is what it would look like if that happened. But we're going A tier here. So Brian Cranston as Walter White. Now, he truly became Heisenberg when he shaved his head and just had the mustache. I am the danger. I am the danger. A tier. Over the summer, I had a shaved head mustache look, and some kids asked me if I was Walter White. I said, no, his mustache is A tier, mine's S tier. Ooh, (laughs) that hits hard. Yeah, I mean, this guy is the man. Come on. And if he wants to drop a thick mustache, he can. Look at some of these pictures where he has just a beast of a mustache. I'm going S tier on here just for pure potential. And I think it's just going to be A overall, though. Stanley from The Office. The question is, does he have a mustache? If you're having to question that, uh, I can highest I can give him as a C tier. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it's not a staple, like you don't think Stanley mustache, then it can't be higher than a C. I can't see how these guys are going C tier here on the Stanley mustache. I'm going B, a really well manicured pencil mustache, which we haven't seen yet in the tier list. If he kept it even tighter, could be S tier. But anyways, I'm going B, it's C overall. I'm a huge fan of Tombstone. Sam Elliott, he looks like he is from that era. That mustache pops like crazy. Has to be S. If mustaches could talk, they would sound like Sam Elliott, S-tier all the way. If Tom Selleck is God-tier, come on. This is definitely guaranteed God-tier for me. We're going to go S-S plus God-tier is an S plus. These guys got to give it up for a mustache. Come on, this is ridiculous. Eddie Murphy has one of the cleanest mustaches in the list and one of the most well-maintained that I rank A-tier. Yeah, Eddie has that parted pencil look. I think it's a great look for him, but it's not what truly makes him raw. B tier. A lot of haters around the uh, <clears throat> Eddie Murphy. What, just because I gave him a B. <laughs> Beverly Hills Cops? Come on. Dude. Yeah. What about Dr. Doolittle? Come on, that's a classic. I don't think I've seen that. You all got stuff to do after this. <laughs> Wow, that was a dagger from Robert. I think this is A tier all day. I mean, not only is he one of the best comedians of all time, Robert didn't know he was in any movies, so that was a big thing that we just learned. I mean, count them all that he's been in. We'll just throw them up on the screen. This dude keeps it clean all day. It's got to be A tier overall. Not many people can have a facial hair style named after them, like General Ambrose Burnside, the sideburn S tier. I'm going to have to go A tier on him because... Where do the sideburns end and where does the mustache begin? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing I got here too is like, is this a sideburn? Is it a mustache? Is it a beard? All I know is it's massive, so I got to give a lot of props there. I'm going to go A tier. It's going to be A all around. Daniel Radcliffe's look is just all around a mess. I'm going F tier. Yeah, he just looks kind of really gross in this picture. Like, this guy is a Hollywood actor, but I got to go F tier. I'm sorry. Yeah, pretty weak showing here. I'm pretty sure he drives a white van with no windows in the back. And I got to say, he grows a better neck beard than he does a mustache. I'm going F, F all around. Now, Jeff Goldblum looks like he was born with the scruff. I mean, it fits his face just perfectly. And, you know, I'm a fan of the salt and pepper, so it's going to be a B for me. He grows a good mustache, but I don't think it's the best look on him. I'm going C tier. Listen, there's a lot thicker, better, well-developed mustaches in this list. The one thing that he's doing right, though, he's got a white beard and a dark mustache. Is that just for men? If it's not, I kind of boost him up to a D tier. I know that doesn't sound great, but eh. we're going C tier overall. Danny Trejo, I ate at your taco shop on a recent trip in L.A., and I'm going to have to say that your mustache is decent, but your tacos are better. I'm going B tier. So Danny has this kind of mix of different mustaches. Let's just call it the Trejo. I love this style. Fits his persona perfectly. And this guy's awesome in movies. So this is an A. Listen, I think if he committed to a Fu Manchu, let that stuff grow out down here, we would actually have a true mustache style. And he could pull it off because it's super weak up top, which is 
Typical Fu Manchu. I got to go C tier. It's going to be B overall. So in my opinion, the best thing Ryan Gosling has ever done is remember the Titans. No mustache in the movie. So this is going to be a C tier. Ryan, you better take out your notebook and take some notes from these S tier guys. I'm going C tier. Oh, man, this is a tough one. This dude's got a weak mustache, but it's there, and so I can't go F. I'm going to go D. It's going to be C all around. Tony Stark and I share a last name, so I always get asked if I'm related to him, but how could an S-tier stash like mine be related to a B-tier like him? It's like such a stylized and calculated mustache and facial hair. Fits the persona of Tony Stark, but for me, it's just a B. It's Tony Stark. This is Iron Man we're talking about. Like, I feel like Iron Man, if to be Iron Man, would require the most thick, gorgeous mustache. He's got a well-manicured one, though, so I'm still going to go A. It's going to be B overall. So Pete Davidson, I mean, he's trying really hard to have something, but he barely has enough to be justified to be on this list. So this is an F. Yeah, is that even a mustache, or is that just dirt on his upper lip? F tier. I mean, yeah, there's like three hairs up there. No one really likes this dude, I'm pretty sure, based on a poll that we had here. So not only does he have a terrible mustache, but he, eh, I'm going to go F tier, F tier all around. I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron Burgundy. It's a formidable mustache. It blocks the nostrils in a good way. S tier. He's kind of channeling like a young Kurt Russell in this. This has to be S tier. There's no way that you can't go S tier with this mustache. This is a guaranteed S tier mustache. It's probably a good thing that we don't see Pedro Pascal's face in The Mandalorian because that mustache is D-tier. Yeah, there's just not really much to it, not much to say about it. I'm going D-tier. Pedro Pascal reminds me of the checkout line at Walmart. I'm sure you all have seen that as you're getting checked out. I mean, maybe a few hairs there. I'm going D-tier, D all around. Henry Cavill, with a mustache like that, you're a Superman, A-tier. Yeah, it probably crushed him to have to shave it off for the Superman because he looks so good with the mustache, A-tier. Yeah, I mean, come on. Superman can drop a solid mustache, and it's Superman, so you got to rank this guy high. We're going to go A-tier, A all around. So Jeff Bridges as the dude. Jeff Bridges as the dude. So that's what you call me, you know? Uh... I mean, he's just sloppy all over, but that kind of sloppy mustache fits that persona. This is a B. I mean, technically, it's not even a mustache. It's a goatee, D-tier. Yeah, I think Colton's got a fair point. This is more of a goatee than a mustache. However, to Robert's point, this is the dude. Come on, you got to give this guy a bump. I'm going to go B, Robert's B. You gave a D. Overall, it's going to be B. Even though a mustache isn't Donald Glover's signature look, I'm still giving him an A tier. So I actually prefer Donald with that big, thick, full beard. But this is a nice, stylized stash that I'll still give an A tier. I think that he's like honestly got the most etched in mustache and he's a dude who doesn't even try if he did clearly this could be s tier if he wanted it but he doesn't until then a tier david harbour as hopper in stranger things now he always looks a little disheveled but yet he keeps and maintains that big thick full mustache s tier there's nothing strange about that thing solid s tier yeah, I got to say, he called me actually to see how to pull off that chevron look. Clearly, it's almost a spitting image of my mustache, so I'm going to go S tier, S all around. I'm giving Joe Jonas an A tier. Hold on. Hold on. You'll get to S tier if you keep it growing. So Joe has the pure painter's brush mustache. He should really rock this all the time. I like the look on him. It's a B tier. I'm pretty sure if Robert's given him a B tier, his poster in his room is of a younger version of Joe Jonas because this dude is definitely A tier. Like Colton said, we could go S tier all day if he grew that thing out, and it's A tier all around. Michael B. Jordan, he and his mustache partner, Drake, actually co-own a pickleball team, A tier. He's one of my favorite basketball players. I loved him in Space Jam, going A tier. Sorry, Colton, this isn't the Hall of Fame football player. This is Michael B. Jordan, and I got to say, that's a clean stash. I'm going to go A, A all around. Oscar Isaac is another one of those guys that looks better without a mustache, but I'm still giving him a B tier. Oscar is kind of like Jeff Goldblum. This guy was born full of scruff. I do prefer his full beard look, so this is going to be a C for me. A guy with two first names is never to be trusted, but he does have a decent mustache. I'm going to go A tier here. It's going to be B overall. All right, obviously, we didn't rank our own mustaches. That's on you guys. Leave it in the comments. And who do we miss? Maybe we should do another one. Let us know. Thanks for watching.